takes the field. The A's won the first game of this three-game series. The Yankees took the one last night behind Whitey Ford. Now, this is a rubber game before the Yankees move up for an all-important series with the slugging Minnesota Twins. Three night games in a day game up in Minnesota. And in Minnesota, we'll be on the air at 8.55 p.m. Monday night, 8.55 p.m. radio Tuesday night and 9 p.m. on television Tuesday, the only game being televised up there. Wednesday, also 8.45 p.m. and on Thursday, an afternoon game at 2.25 p.m. Donahue has won one and lost two against the Yankees. He has no wins and one defeat. And that's his lifetime mark against the New York Yankees. This is his 12th appearance of the year, his seventh start. Lost to the Yankees 11 and 9 on May 17th. Tony Kubek swinging a couple of bats alongside of home plate will lead off for the Yankees. Frank Lissetti has gone down to his usual coach in the coaching box at third. And Jimmy Gleason over at first. Center of the batter's box on deck, Bobby Richardson. A ball that had been errantly tossed somewhere got away and bounced into the box seat and hit a fan over his left eye. The uh, Kansas City trainer now is walking over there to see if he can get him some first aid. But evidently he's all right, and the first pitch of the ball game is taken for a strike. <laughs> Kubek batting 222, three doubles, one triple, one home, and six runs batted in. A left-handed next pitch is a little bit higher, one and one. Al Solano calling balls and strikes, Bill McKinley at first, Nestor Shylock at second, and Hank Shaw over at third. The wind up. Pitch line to left field for a base hit. George Alusic over. He has it. Tony Kubek hitting an opposite field single. Starting the Yankees off here in the top of the first inning. That brings up Bobby Richardson. Bobby is looking for his first hit in this series. He's batting 284, has four doubles, two triples, and 13 runs batted in. Kubek does a few calisthenics down at first base. Doc Edwards holding him close. Here's a stretch. A look at the runner. Pitch to Richardson is low ball one. Pitch Charles is playing in at third base. Outfield straight away. Kubek bounces off first. Go over there, and Kubek is back, and he almost fell off the base getting back there. Again, the left hand already. Another throw to first, and Tony's back. Had a pretty good move, Mr. O'Donoghue. The stretch again. Another throw to first, and again, he's back. This throw, almost a wild one. But Tony is bothering the young left-hander out there. Kubek takes a pretty good size lead and then bounces up and down as though he's going to run. And if he's not, he's giving a good impression. The pitch to the plate is taken for a strike, one and one. Had a delay of some 40 minutes due to the rain. Ready for the 1-1 pitch. It's a slow curve and a tie. Two balls and a strike. The 
coverage. Who takes a quick look down at Frank Cressetti? Mm-hmm. The old crow flashes in some shine. Ready now for the 2-1 pitch. It's a ground ball right back to the pitcher. Goes to Fawzi for one. Back to first. And a wild ball. But Richardson will not be able to advance. As Kubek sliding in hard makes Fawzi jump in the air. And his throw was way wide of the bag. They had the double play if it was a good throw. And it goes into fourth play. From one to six. So Donahue made a fine stop of that hard hit ground ball. It would have gone right through the middle. So Richardson is at first with one out. He had to keep an eye on Kubek, who was barreling in there and took his eye off the first base. Extra Lopez, batting 289, four doubles, two triples, five homers, and 14 runs batted in. Stretch by O'Donoghue. Extra Lopez is taken, strike one call. Lopez, along with Joe Capitone, have each hit late safely in all six games played against the A's. Takes the ground ball to third. Charles has it on the big hop over to Green for one. Back to first. Double play. Fine double play around the horn. Well, the Yankees in the top of the first. No runs. One hit. No Kansas City errors. Nobody left at the end of one half inning. The Yankees nothing and the A's coming to bat. for the Yankees, Al Downing. Al has won two and lost one. No decisions against the A's this year. Lifetime against Kansas City, he's won two and lost one. This is his seventh appearance of the year for Downing, all starting assignment. His first against the A's. On Al's last start on May 27th against Cleveland, it's a complete game and won it seven and two. Wayne Causey leading off. The A's shortstop batting 282. Downing's first pitch is taken. Strike one call. Fuzzy has six doubles, one triple, one homer, and ten runs batted in. Boyer playing on the edge of the infield grass. Downing's pitch is on the outside corner. Strike two call. The breaking pitch. This year, Downing has 37 strikeouts in 37 innings. Lifetime total strikeouts, 221 strikeouts and 223 innings pitched. A pretty good strikeout record. Here's the two strike pitch, the curveball hit in the short left center. Strike coming on, and he can't get it. He caught it on one hop. Tommy made a good try of lifting it up and trying to get next to Shylock to think he caught it, but Shylock had run out as the ball was hit and was right there. Stretch sliding on his knees, scooped it up on the short hop, a base hit. Both leadoff men and both shortstops open the uh, innings with singles. And here's Nelson Matthews batting 261. Matthews, 10 doubles, three triples, one homer, and 10 runs batted in. No score we're in the bottom of the first inning. Downing stretches. His best ball is low, ball one. Jimmy Dykes coaching at third. Luke Appling at first. Downing decides he wants a new baseball. And Salerno throws that ball out of play. Downing leans in for the sign from Howard. Here's the stretch. Fast ball, but a down save, but foul. It was not a beat out type of bunt. He had squared around and tried to lay it right down the line. But he had Boyer playing back, not expecting the bunt. And Matthews, pretty fast runner, thought he might be able to get himself a base hit. One ball, one strike. On deck, George Alusi. Stretched by Downing. Fast ball, bunt is in the air. Howard is there. He's got it in foul territory. Holding it first is Wayne Crosby. Matthews fouls out to Elston Howard attempting the bunt. Here's the Lucy. George batting 333. Has five doubles, one triple, and eight runs batted in. On deck, Rocky Colavito. 
Strike one call. And now Lucic has Salerno to look at that baseball. Al does and flips it back to Downey. Salerno's got a pretty good arm. As a matter of fact, he's got a small bonus to sign with the Red Sox as a pitcher. But while he was in the service, he fell out of an army truck. Injured his arm, tried to come back as an outfielder. Found he couldn't hit the curveball, so he went down firing. There's a ground ball to third. Boyer has it. Richardson for one. Back to first. Double play. Still almost identical innings. Ending with double plays around the horn for the A's in the bottom of the first. No runs. One hit, no Yankee errors, and nobody left. And at the end of one full inning, it's the Yankees. Nothing in the A's. Nothing. Again, a quick look at the scoreboard. It's the Red Sox 3, Minnesota 3, playing the bottom of the eighth inning. Wilson against Stan. Baltimore nothing, the Angels nothing. End of one, Barber against Polinsky. The White Sox 4, the Tigers 3, end of eight. Marshy now against Lolich. Ward and McAuliffe have home it. That's the first of two. Cleveland defeated the Senators in the first game, but doubleheader 9 6. McDowell the winner, climbed the loser. Hinton and Scar in home it. Second game. It's Cleveland 2 and Washington 2 playing the top of the second. Bell against Daniels. Woody Held is home in the second with one eye. And the National League, the Giants beat the Mets 5-3 in the first game of a doubleheader. Maris Dow the winner. Jackson the loser. Hickman home in the second with two on. Second game, it's Bowling against Wakefield. No score. The Phillies leading the National League defeated Houston 4-1. They're happy to win a hole in the loser. Allen and Amaro home it. Cincinnati shut out the Cardinals 6-0. Turkey the winner. Washington the loser. Second game is Petrus against Gibson. The Dodgers lead the Pirates six to four, playing the bottom of the ninth. Paranasi in there now, and pretty for Pittsburgh. Clemente Homan in the third. It's Milwaukee three to Cubs two. End of eight and a half. Cubs against Ellsworth. And right now we pause for station identification. This is WOKO, your station for sports. Fourteen sixty on your dial in Albany, New York. Leads off. Roger had his nine-game hitting streak stop in last night's ball game. He's batting 3-0-3. O'Donohue's first pitch is outside ball one. Roger has three doubles, six homers, and 14 runs batted in. Next pitch to Merritt. The ground ball to second base. Green is right there. Throws to Edwards for the out. One away. Dick Green, who plays Maris about six feet back on the outfield grass, had an easy chance with that one. Here's Tommy Stretch. Tom batting 255. Six doubles, one triple, three homers, 19 runs batted in. is high ball one. Donahue is a local boy born here in Kansas City and still resides here. Curve is low, two balls, no strike. 24 years old is the left hander. 6'3 and 197 pounds. Two nothing pitch in the dirt, three and nothing. So with one out, nobody on. O'Donoghue behind three and nothing. There's no score. We're in the top of the second. The lights have been turned on here at Kansas City. The pitch is over. Strike call three and one. Now Salerno had come over to the stands at the end of the first inning and told the groundkeeper or the head electrician and turn on the lights. Fastball hit high in the air to straight away center. Nelson Matthews moving in easily and takes it for the second out. That brings up Elston Howard. Kelly red hot right now, batting 344, leading the club and hitting seven doubles, two triples, one homer, and 18 runs batted in. Number 32, Elton 
Well, he has had 11 hits in his last 16 at bats over the past four games. That's a 688 club. And he's hitting 476 against the A's this year, 10 for 21. Two out, nobody on. It's to Howard. Right, right, belt high, right down the middle. And Eddie Lopat now pushes Nelson Matthews deep and a little more over the right center field. Next pitch to Howard. Hits out in that direction. Colavito moving to his right. In front of the one-half pennant for it, calls it in. So the Yankees are three up, three down in the top of the second. And at the end of an inning and a half, it's the Yankees nothing and the A's nothing. as we get ready to go in the bottom of the second another down four and Al Salano the plate umpire has called for the ground crew to put the tarpaulin out now they're bringing the towel up to home plate to clean it off a little mud got on there and we're just about ready to go Colorado batting 283 has five doubles, 13 homers, and 32 runs batted in. The Rock came over from Detroit to Kansas City in a deal that really helped the Detroit Tigers. They got Dave Wickersham, Ed Rocco, and Jerry Lumpy. Colorado has proved to be one of the most popular players ever to play here in Kansas City. Rocky from the Bronx. And now everybody's ready to go except the plate umpire Al Solano. Al has suddenly disappeared. The bat boy is holding the chest protector. The umpires are pointing to the wet spots, and here comes Solano now. He forgot his mask. You know, it's a funny thing about forgetting your mask. I know many catchers, including Yogi Berra and Bill Dickey, who at times warmed up the pitcher and then got down to give the sign and had forgotten to bring their mask with them. Very embarrassing. It would be even more embarrassing if the pitcher threw a pitch. All right, here's Calavito. I remember when we were kids, we fought many times without a mask. All right, Calavito steps in. It was a 57-minute delay this second time. Here's the wind-up by Downing. His first pitch is a strike on the outside corner. In the first inning for the A's, Corsi singled. Matthews bunted to Howard, the pop fly, and then the loose hit into a double play. The one-strike pitch, change of pace outside, one-on-one. Nelson Howard turns around to question Al Solano, shaking his head a little bit. Bobby Richardson playing back on the outfield grass and over towards second base. Kubek is in the hole at short. Boyer guarding the line at third. Here's the windup. Curveball is high and outside. Two and one. Downing into the windup. Pitch in the dirt. Three balls and one strike. Downing has won two and lost one this year. The youngster from Trenton, New Jersey, who last year won 15 and lost seven. All right, Al gets the sign from Howard. Here's his 3-1 delivery. It's a fastball. Check swing foul past Luke Appling, coaching at first. Full count now on the rock. They had a big sign out in the one-half pennant porch in right field. Don't knock the rock. Not out there today. Here's the payoff pitch to Colavito. Curve, strike three, call. Colavito leaning away from the curve. Still standing there, thought it was inside. And Downing shorts up his first strikeout. Brings up Ed Charles. Batting 240 has six doubles, two homers, and 13 runs batted in. 
And Palavito is still yelling at Al Salano from the dugout. Pitch to Charles is going outside ball one. Palavito grabs the towel and still argues. One-nothing delivery. Change of pace. Swung at it. Missed strike one. Ed Charles way out in front of that pitch. Charles, the right-hand batter. On deck, Doc Edwards. Thank you, Slate Charles. Just about straight away. Curve swung at it. Missed strike two. One ball, two strikes. And Charles seems to have a lot of trouble with that low pitch. Nothing, nothing ball game here in the bottom of the second. One out, nobody on. Here's Downing's delivery. A fastball strike, three calls. And Charles leaned away from that pitch. As it makes the inside corner. Second strike out for Downing. And it brings up Doc Edwards. Edwards batting 266. Three doubles, nine runs batted in. On deck, Dick Green. Two out now and nobody on. Edwards, a right hand batter, takes the strike right down the middle. Here's the wind up. Fastball low and outside. One on one. Dyke coaching at third, Luke Atling at first for the A's, wearing their wedding, white wedding suit, popped up, there's a ball popped to Cleet Boyer in foul territory alongside third, and Cleet has it for the out. Three up, three down for the A's, and at the end of two full innings, it's the Yankees nothing and the A's nothing. This is your home of champion station in the Capital District, WOKO 1460 on your dial in Albany, New York. As Joe Pepitone steps into the batter's box. Pepitone's batting 279. He has two doubles, two triples, five homers, and 22 runs batted in. Joe Pepitone. On ready. The first pitch is bunted out and foul back strike one. It hit the plate and hit Charlie Lyle on his throwing hand. Pepitone is hit in all six games played against the A's and is hitting 480 against them. 12 for 25. John O'Donohue, the tall 6 3 left hander on the mound for the A's, is into his short windup. Ball hit to first base. Doc Edwards is up with it. He runs to the bag for the unassisted putout. One away. <clears throat> Brings up Cleet Boyer. Boyer batting 177. Two doubles, two triples, four homers, and 18 runs batted in. State has had only 22 hits this year, but 18 runs batted in. is a curve low ball one. One out. Nobody on. Curve hit on the ground to the shortstop. Cause he's right there. He rifles at the first and there's two out. That'll bring up Al Downing. Downing is four for 15, batting 267. He has one triple, three runs batted in. No score here in the top of the third. Sure. Mr. Downing is a strike on the outside corner. The next pitch is a curve swung at a missed strike to a good breaking curveball. That was in and down to Downing. Nothing in two. 
Here's the two-strike pitch. Another curve. He's fouled it at the plate. Downing picks it up and flips it to Charlie Lau, who rubs it up a little bit before throwing it back to O'Donohue. Downing back in the batter's box. Curve is just outside. One ball, two strikes. Fastball swing and a miss, strike three. Lau dropped it, picked it up, and handed it to Downing, which is good at tagging him out. First strikeout for Donahue. The Yankees are three up, three down. At the end of two and a half, it's the Yankees nothing and the A's nothing. For the A's in the bottom of the third, it'll be Dick Green, Charlie Lau, and John O'Donohue to face Al Downing. In the first two innings, the A's had one base hit. Green batting 194, five doubles, four triples, two homers, 17 runs batted in. Green, a right-hand batter. Downing first pitch is high and outside, ball one. Ball foul down the right field line. Pepitone chasing it, and he can't quite get to it. Gets it on one bounce and then stops just before getting to the railing of the lower box seat. Joe was really digging for that one. Green is just 23 years old, only in his second year of playing second base. Started out as a third baseman, and he has really improved. Lined up by Downing. Did he check it? It's two balls, one strike. He almost had a pretty good cut at that pitch. Green looked back at plate umpire Al Salerno, but it's two and one. Fastball line to right field for a base hit. Boy, that was an inside fastball. He drilled it to right field. That's the second hit for the A's. Brings up Charlie Lau, Lau batting 287. Seven doubles, one triple, two homers, eight runs batted in. No score, we're in the bottom of the third. Game that has been delayed over an hour and a half at different times because of rain. Number 13, Charlie Lau. Dick Green leads off for his pepitone holding him on. The pitch to Lau, he bunts in front of the plate, but then it kicks foul. And now this is the second time that the A's, having the leadoff runner on first base, have attempted to sacrifice in the second. In the bottom of the first quasi single, Nelson Matthews attempting to sacrifice, hit a little pop foul at Howard Court. Now that time, trying to sacrifice, so maybe Eddie Lopez figures that O'Donoghue's going to pitch a shutout and one run might win it. Evidently O'Donoghue, a pretty good hitting pitcher. Throw to first base, and he has to dive back, but he's in there ahead of Pepitone's tag. Good move by Downing. Luke Appling says, wasn't that a ball to Bill McKinley? Bill says, nope. Here's the stretch. The pitch inside, one of one. Boyer is way in at third. Lau, left-hand batter. Ready. He starts to bunt, pulls it back. Ball two. Howard said he bunted at it. So did Boyer. So did Downing. But Al Salerno says, no, he didn't. And that's the man that counts. Howard rubs the ball up and puts it back to Downing. Two balls, one strike. Green leads off first base. That's by Donnie. 
takes it inside, almost hit him ball three, three and one. So Lopat has switched on alternate pitches to allow the butt or attempt to bunt. And now it's a three one count. Let's see what he does now. Now he has a variety of choices. Hit and run, take, bunt, the stretch. And Downing stepped off the rubber, trying to get Dick Green to commit himself at first whether he might be running. Now Lau steps out of the batter's box to look down at Jimmy Dyke. Here's the stretch. The run is going. The ball is fouled back in the upper deck. So Lopat did put the hit and run on. And that makes it a full count, three and two. Green has one stolen base this year. Downing rubs up the new baseball. Now he leans in for the sign. Here's his stretch. Throw to first, and Green again has to dive back head first. But he does get back. Downing's really getting that move down pat. The stretch. The payoff takes foul in back of the plate. Green was not running on that pitch. Nobody out here in the bottom of the third. There's no score. All right, Downing is ready. Pitch strike three swinging. He went after a bad pitch over his head. Green was not running, and that's strikeout number three for Downing, and it brings up John O'Donoghue, who is hitting, by the way, 357. And up 14 times, five hits, no extra base hits, but two runs about it in. So with one out, O'Donoghue comes up. On deck, Wayne Causey. Here's the stretch. The pitch, he squares around the bunt, takes it outside, ball one. Some unusual baseball developing here. Going to have loud bunt because Don O'Donoghue is a good hitter. Now he had O'Donoghue attempting the bunt. The pitch, he squares around, bunt at the first. Good bunt. Pepitone has to throw to Richardson covering. They get O'Donoghue, but Green moves to second on the sacrifice. The play goes three to four. And here is Wayne Causey, who single the center his first time up. Causey batting 287. Causey, a left-hand batter. Green leads off second. Downing curve is a little high, ball one. Getting him back of Green, trying to keep him close. Next pitch is fouled back in the upper deck out of play. One and one. Downing turns around, looks back at Green at second. Now leans over for the sign from Howard. He said, pitch is foul back out of play in the upper deck and back at third base. One ball, two strikes, and two outs. Yeah. Now it now walks out to the mound and talks Al Downing. It's a tough day for pitchers when they have to warm up three different times. They warmed up just prior to the game. Then the rains came. The game was held up for 40 minutes. They played an inning and a half. The rains came, held up for 57 minutes. They had to warm up again. It's almost like pitching a double hurt. Grounding ready for the one ball, two strike pitch. Foul back to the screen on a high fast ball.
Downing into his strike position. His pitch is inside, and the count is even at two and two. Nobody has been able to take advantage of the one-half pennant force that Charles Finley has erected in right field. Kubek cuts him back to green, but then goes back to his position. The 2-2 pick, the ground ball hits the second. Richard Simmel is right, has it. Goes to Pepitone in time to get Causey. For the A's in the bottom of the third, no runs, one hit, no Yankee errors, and one man left. And at the end of three, it's the Yankees, nothing, and the A's, nothing. Today, right now, I'd like to say that the next portion of this game will be brought to you by Valentine Beer. Beer after beer, the most refreshing around. So smile, settle back, and enjoy baseball and ice cold Valentine Beer. On the score box, on the score what? I was going to say the score box, but it's the score board. The Red Sox defeated the Twins 4-3. Baltimore leads the Angels 2-1 into 6 and a half. White Sox beat Detroit 5-3 in the first game, and it's the White Sox 2, Detroit nothing into 2 of the second. Cleveland defeated Washington in the first game 9-6, and Cleveland leads 7-2 at the end of 5.5 in the second. In the National League, the Giants beat the Mets 5-3, and the Giants lead 6-1 into 3 of the second. Phillies beat Houston 4-1 in a single game. Cincinnati shut out the Cardinals 6-0 in the first game. Second game is nothing nothing into 5.5. The Dodgers beat the Pirates 6-4, and the Cubs beat Milwaukee 4-3 in 10 innings. So that's the way the action stands in the, around the rest of the American and National League. Right here at Kansas City's Municipal Stadium in Mid-America, it's nothing, nothing as we get ready to go in the top of the fourth inning. And Tony Kubek will be leading off. Tony opened the ball game with a line single to left field in the first inning. Then was fourth at second on a ground ball by Richardson hit back to the box after which Hector Lopez hit into a double play. John O'Donohue is rubbing up the ball. Goes to the rosin bag. And as we get ready to go here in the top of the fourth inning, here yes, is Mel Allen. Thank you very much, Bill. Tony Kubek takes an inside pitch, ball one. No score, fourth inning. Tony Kubek takes the strike. A 1-1 count. Tony single in the first inning. John O'Donohue, the left-hander, delivers the curve that swung on a high pop to short. Wayne Causey under it and makes the catch. Bobby Richardson. Bobby Richardson. In the first inning. Grounded to short. The pitch is outside for a ball. the next pitch is swung on and again grounded to short. Calls the up there, throws the first in time. That one was really rattled. A hard shot grabbed by Causey. Two away. Hector Lopez grounded the third in the first inning into a double play. Delivery is inside, ball one. O'Donohue's pitch is swung on, hit back through the middle for a base hit in the center. Nelson Matthews charges it, who sits and tosses it back in the cause A two-out single to center by Hector Lopez, allowing Roger Maris to come up. In the fourth inning, no score.
Sean O'Donohue making his fifth consecutive start. Into the stretch, the pitch to Maris. Inside and high, ball one. The rookie, one, one, lost two so far this year. Roger Maris on the next pitch takes it inside. Ball two, two balls, no strike. No strike. And the pitch. Inside, ball three. Three and nothing. Roger Maris had a nine-game hitting streak stopped yesterday. That was the longest of the year for a Yankee. Next pitch is in there. Strike one, three and one. Donahue checks the runner. Hector Lopez then pitches. Maris swings and sends a high pop to second. Nick Green is under it and makes the catch. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left on. At the end of three and a half innings, Yankees nothing and the A's nothing. Last half of the fourth inning. Nelson Matthews, batting second in the order, leads off. George Jalusic on deck and Rocky Calavito to follow. Al Downing's pitch is swung on, bounced to short. Big hop. Two back who throws to cut the cone in time. One away. George Jalusic grounded to third into a double play in the first inning. The lanky lad from New Jersey has come along as the hitter, improved considerably under the tutelage of Dave Dahlgren. The delivery outside for a ball. At this time of year when averages fluctuates very sharply, and just the other day he was hitting 390. Starts out today, 3.33. The pitch is low outside for a ball. Al Downing delivers, and the pitch is swung on. There's a high fly ball into short left field. Hector Lopez under it. And gloved it. Two away. Dave Dawson is coach, a coach now for the A's. And dresses after practice and sits in the stands and takes film of the game. We're going to have him as a post-game guest on television. Here's Rocky Calavito. The pitch is in there for a strike. Rocky looks at the third strike in the second inning. Started the day hitting 283. Next pitch is inside for a ball, one and one. Swung on line and into left field for a base hit. Gloves on a hop by Lopez and Rocky's run for two. When Lopez took his time getting the ball back to the infield. It's a double for Calavito. His sixth of the season. It out there, but uh, 
a guy out there in a hurry, and Lopez just took his time uh, getting the ball back, and Carl Levado took advantage of it and pushed it into a double. Ed Charles, the ball bounces away from the plate, and the third goes Carl Levado, Howard skidded, and the grass is going back after the ball, it hits the dirt, it's a wild pitch. strike in the second inning. Al Downing pitch is swung on as the ground ball hits the short. Two back up and it throws over the first in time. The side is retired. No run, one hit, no errors, and one left on. And so it's end of four innings to play. The Yankees, no runs, two hits, no errors. The A's, no runs, three hits, no errors. We had a 57-minute uh, delay after the game had gotten underway because of torrential rain. How about that? How? How you make sure you always have plenty Valentine beer on hand. You throw them home plenty. Leave Tomahawk home. Make more room for Valentine. Yes, sir. When you buy, buy plenty. <laughs> you get a smile anytime. Throw them home plenty, Valentine beer. We pause for station identification. This is your home champion station in the Capital District, WOKO in Albany, New York. for the fifth inning. Tom Trash leads off for New York. Elston Howard on deck and Joe Pepitone falls. Left-hander John O'Donohue's pitch is a curve low and inside. Ball one. Vastly improved pitcher over the man we saw in New York when the Yankees racked him up. Donahue's pitch is going on and fouled to the right of the plate. A 1-1 one, one count. The sun is coming out, believe it or not. One pitch to track. In there. Track two. The Yankees got six hits and six runs off of John uh, O'Donohue in New York on the 17th of this month. He worked only three innings. He's been coming along. The robust left-handers pitch to Trash is swung on, and there's a fly ball into left center that uh, Lucy grabs in front of Matthews. You know, the Athletics have a uh, pretty good defensive outfield in the Lucy, Matthews, Colavito. And uh, when Gentile is well, they've got a good infield defensively with Charles, Cosby, Green. Depth, or I should say lack of depth, uh, hurts them and also a lack of uh, depth in pitching. Elston Howard takes one inside, ball one. score fifth inning. The pitch to Howard swung on, lined over short into left center for a base hit. Elusive goes over. 
He's up for the ball and throws it in quickly, and Howard is held a single. Every team has a, an underrated ball player. And despite the fact that Elston Howard got the laurels of the MVP in the league last year, he still seems to uh, be an underrated ball player. Pepitone up. Howard uh, started the day hitting 344. The pitch to Pepitone. Swung on line in the right field for a base hit. Howard will hold that second as Calavito throws the bullet in to Dick Green. Wait Boyer coming up. You know, there is an aspect of baseball represented by these two hits that occurs uh, very frequently. And you might call it a waste of hitting. When you can't get the runner over to third base from first base with less than two outs, it means that you've got to have another hit barring any in perfection play and sometimes two hits to get one run Moyer grounded to short in the third inning and you must remember the percentage of getting uh, more than uh, two hits in an inning the delivery high outside for a ball one ball no strike This takes on added importance in a game such as this where there is no score. We're in the fifth inning. Cleet Boyer takes the fastball for a strike. One and one. Incidental intelligence. Pepitone has hit safely in all seven games against Kansas City. Donahue, the left-hander, delivers, and Boyer springs and fouls it back. One and two. two count on Boyer. Left-hander John O'Donohue getting the sign from Charlie Lau. End of the stretch. And the pitch. Swung on, little roller foul down the third baseline. Down holds at one and two. been a crazy day. We've had torrential rain. We've got some sunshine now, and I think it's the first time I've ever seen the sunshine and the lights on at the same time. One ball, two strikes. Two on, and the pitch to Boyer is low. Two-two. I say that not from the standpoint of criticism, but rather a pat on the back to the A's management. Of course, the umpire's the one that ought to the lights on. He may have forgotten to tell him to turn it off. I don't know. Two balls, two strikes. A pickoff throw to second, but Howard back. And Dick Green made a nice uh, catch of a throw. But there are dark clouds that could very easily uh, sweep right back over and bot out the sun. Howard leads off second, cut the tone off first. One out, the 2-2 pitch, swung on, a slow roller. Charles up for this, flips on the first in time to Doc Edwards, moving Howard to third and Pepitone to second. Two down, and up comes Al Downing. Downing struck out in the third. He's had four hits this season. That's 
right-handed. No score, first to the fifth. Donahue into the windup. The pitch to Downing. Swung on, little roller. Foul down the third baseline. Strike one. <laughs> Howard moves off third. Pepitone off second. Oh, Donahue. Looking around into the full windup, the pitch to Downing swung on and fouled back. Strike two. Nothing in two. With two outs in the fifth inning of a scoreless game, delayed by rain, and then at the end of an inning and a half, held up 57 minutes because of rain. Wayne Causey runs in from shortstop to have a word with John O'Donoghue. Forgot how to spell his name. The reason that thought crossed my mind yesterday on the panogram, they spelled O'Donoghue's name as they uh, announced him uh, starting. Uh, here's the pitch. It's in there, called strike three. The ball is dropped by Lau. He throws down to Edwards for the out. They announced him as a pitcher for today, but instead of putting O apostrophe, they put O with an exclamation point. No runs, two hits, no errors, two left on. At the end of four and a half innings, Yankees nothing, A's nothing. The last half, the fifth inning in Kansas City. Johnny Edwards will be followed by Dick Green and Charlie Lyle. No score in the last half of the fifth. second inning. The pitch is swung on and line foul down the left field line. Strike one. Doc Edwards playing first base in the absence of the injured Jim Gentile. Awaits the pitch from Al Downing. Swings and misses. Strike two. Nothing in two. They just turned the lights off. And the pitch swung on, a looping pop going back for it. Two back, he's going to get under it, and he has it. Now Dick Green, who singled the right in the third inning. I'd say this boy's got a great chance of becoming quite a star. He's, uh, he's not a cocky, he's confident. He's a good glove man already. Yeah. He learns to hit a little better. He's going to be something. The pitch is in there for a strike. He singled the right in the third inning. Started the day batting 194. But he's driven in uh, 17 runs. The pitch is outside. Ball one. He has a pretty good build on him. Right-hand batter. Wearing Dick Houser's old number, one. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Change up is swung on and popped up. Back to uh, Boyer, and Kubek is back there on the grass and makes the catch. Over near the left field foul line. Not too many balls hit back to third base uh, along the foul line. Go foul. Charlie Lau comes up. Struck out the third inning. 
The left-hand batter takes it low, ball one. Downing working rapidly, fires one high and tight. Ball two. Charlie Lau has worn the uniform of the Tigers, the Orioles. The two nothing pitch swung on and fouled back. I met the man the other night that signed up Dick Raddick. I got his autograph. Two balls, one strike. The pitch is swung on and popped up behind the plate out of play. Ow! Ball on a hot tin roof. Two balls, two strikes. Downing and with an overhand fastball, low. Ball three. Three and two. Now the pitch swung on and foul back. I left out Milwaukee. I, I, I didn't know Charlie Lyle had uh, been with the Braves, but. Bill Kane handed me his uh, lifetime record. I made the note to stop it. The pitch to Charlie swung on. He popped another one foul. Listen. No, that went too far back. Didn't have my radar. Which fell backwards is radar. Full count on Charlie Lau. Al Downing's picture is swung on. There's the drive out into center field coming fast. The stretch, he can't get it. It's a base hit. Charlie Lau singles to center. They have the pronunciation in the American League book. Now, I've always maintained uh, it's not reliable as low. John O'Donohue. The right-hand batter swings and fouls it off. Of course, the strangest case of pronunciation is that of Art uh, Haldeman. His father called it Hudeman. He said, hello, Mr. Hudeman. How's your son, uh, Art Hudeman? The pitch right in there for a strike. Nothing in two. I asked Art one day, actually, I said, how do you like your name pronounced? He said, Hudeman. And I said, why? I said, I understand everybody calls you Hudeman. And if you like Hallam, he said, well, my uncle who lives in California calls it Hallam, and I like Hallam better. And this is the truth. The delivery is swung on, a little grounder hits Pepitone, and he takes care of the play at first unassisted, and the side is retired. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left on. And at the end of five innings, the Yankees nothing, the Athletics nothing. go to the sixth inning in the rubber game of the three-game series between the Yanks and the A's. Kansas City won the opener. The Yankees won uh, yesterday's game. No score. Tony 
Johnny Kubak leads off in New York in the sixth inning. Left-hander John O'Donohue's pitch is inside, ball one. Kubak singled in the first inning, popped short on the fourth. Next delivery, it's in there. Back one, one and one. Ed Charles shading close to third. He's on the grass. Left-hander John O'Donohue's delivery forces Kubek to the ground. Two and one the count. White Sox are leading the Tigers in the second game, 5-1. to one. Then the five innings, they won the opener. Here's the pitch, swung on and line down the left field line. The Lucy goes over and grabs it. Nice play. George Lucic races to the left field line to take two back liner. There's a fellow who was with Detroit and didn't get the opportunity to display his wares, but uh, here's Bobby Richardson in Texas Strike. What we've seen of him here, he looks like a polished outfielder. John O'Donohue's pitch is fouled back on uh, an unintentional check swing as Bobby sought to duck the pitch. Sox knocked out Rocco. Gladding relieved him. Buford hit a three-run homer. The pitch is into the dirt, bounces away from uh, the catcher. One ball, two strikes. the pitch. Richardson swings and hits a foul down the left field line. Change of pace. He got out in front of him a little too much. I can't see what's happening, but as the fellow says, I'll make Booker laugh and somebody chasing the ball. Here's the pitch swung on, loops into left field. A fly ball that a Lucy gathers in for the second out in the sixth inning. At the end of seven innings of the second game, the Giants and Mets are uh, 6 6. Giants won the opener 5 3. Hector Lopez grounded down to a double play in the first inning. He grounded to third, single to center in the fourth. The pitch is in there, strike one. Totals are identical, no runs, four hits. And no errors. Now the pitch, and Lopez takes a low fastball to even the count of one and one. in there. Strike two. Lopez knew it was a good pitch. And he kicked the dirt. Not in defiance to the umpire's call, but in anger at himself for taking it. One ball, two strikes. O'Donohue's delivery. Swung on and lined out over second in the center for a base hit. Two-out single to center for Hector Lopez. The same situation occurred in the fourth inning, allowing Roger Maris to come up. Lopez uh, has moved close to the 300 mark. 
Hollywood two for three today. He's hitting 300 even. Ready for 100. Donahue checks the runner. The pitch to Maris. High. Ball one. One ball, no strike. Oh, Donahue ready. The pitch to Maris swung on. A little tap. Cut down to Doc Edwards. The first baseman takes it. Steps on first. Retiring Maris. And the Yankees. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left on. At the end of five and a half innings, the Yankees nothing, and the A's nothing. This is WOKO in Albany, New York. It's the top of the order for the A's. Wayne Causey leading off. Al Downing's pitch is swung on and popped up in foul territory. Boyer calling for it and dubs it. One away. Causey had singled and down the second previously. Wyatt gets up in the bullpen along with Bo Steele for Kansas City. For the Yankees, Bob Meyer. Nelson Matthews. Foul of the catcher down to the short. Right hand batter. No score. Last of the six. Al Downing's overhand fastball is high. Ball one. Downing delivers. Matthews swings and misses. Strike one. Win one. on deck. Al Downing into the windup and the pitch is in there for a strike. Fastball. One and two. left hand into the windup. Here's the pitch. Change up. Swung on and missed. Strike three. A let up curve. Two down in the sixth inning. And here's George Alusic, who's rounded to third in a double play in the first inning. Flying to left in the fourth. He got up under the ball too much. Downing pitch on the way. Outside, ball one. The Lucy, as well as the on-deck man, Calavito, are long-distance threats in this ballpark. Here's the pitch, fastball outside. A two-nothing count. No score, last of the six. And, additionally, they're right-handed batters against left-handed pitchers. Al Downing's delivery is over for strikes and one. No score, six innings. The 2 1 pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two, 2 2 2. Crowd him with that one. Got the mustard with it, too. Two balls, two strikes, two out. And the pitch. High, ball three, three and two. Full count on the Lucy. Downing pitch, swung on, and it's bounced through the middle for the base hit. Great 
Lucic to pick the ball up barehanded, and Lucic, after a wide turn, retreats to first with the single. And up comes Rocky Calavito. Identical, no runs, five hits, no errors. Calvito, the swinging for the ball game right here. Sixth inning, no score. The pitch is low and inside, ball one. Downing uh, has to work for him, too, because the dead Charles on deck. First, you can't put him in uh, scoring position. And the pitch. It's into the dirt, bounces away from Howard. Elusive goes on down to second. The wild pitch, the second, charge to Downing in this game. The Yogi, uh, choice of putting uh, Rocky on now that the uh, runner's on second anyway. Do nothing count on uh, Colorado, but they're going to continue to pitch to him. And the delivery. Swung on and line the left field. Pitch is swung on, hit on the hot and short. Kubek has it, crosses over the puppet going in time. 
And the sides are closed. Tight. Two hits. No errors. One left on. At the end of six innings, the A's one run, six hits, no errors. The Yankees, no runs, five hits, and no errors. Minnesota 4 to 3, Baltimore beat Los Angeles 2 to 1. Chicago defeated Detroit 5 to 3. Second game, the White Sox lead 5 to 1 and the 6. Cleveland beat Washington 9 to 6. In the second game, it is 8 to 3. Cleveland last the ninth. In the National League, Giants beat the Mets 5 to 3. In the second game, it's 6 all playing the ninth. Philadelphia 4, Houston 1. Cincinnati shut out St. Louis 6 to nothing. Second game is 2 to nothing. And the game is just over, and the Cardinals won the second game 2 to 1. LA beat Pittsburgh 6 to 4, and the Cubs beat the Braves 4 to 3 in turn. And Gary Coleman is all set to move in and carry on the rest of the way with the A's leading 1 to nothing. Thank you, Mel. Here's Tommy Trek leading off for the Yankees. We're in the top of the seventh inning. He's out in front, as Mel told you, one to nothing. And John O'Donoghue delivers. Trek hits it in the right field. Palavito had a little trouble with it momentarily, but came up with it as the sun was in his eyes. Now, that had to be the first time today that we had any trouble with the sun in the outfield because we have not had too much sun. So Trek to fly to center and then fly to left and now fly out to right. That brings up Elston Howard is one for two. Ellis fly to right, single to left. John O'Donoghue, the young left-hander, into the windup, delivers to Howard. Low and inside, ball one. Frank Cassetti at third, Jim Gleason at first, coaching for the Yankees. In the dirt, ball two, two and over the count. This game was held up twice, once for 46 minutes and then again for 57 minutes. The two will pitch the LA here, get on the ground a second. Get three, that's what it easily throws the first and there's two down. Two up, two down. That is Joe Pepitone. Pepitone bounced the first and then singled sharply to right field. It was in the fifth inning that the Yankees posed their most serious threat in this ballgame when with one down they got back-to-back -back singles, but after that couldn't do much. So the A's are leading right now, one to nothing. We're in the top of the seventh. Outside of Pepitone, ball one. Diego Segui won the Friday night game for the A's, 4-1. to one. Whitey Ford won it for the Yankees last night, 9-1. to one. Now John O'Donoghue has a 1-0 lead here in this ball game. Pepitone hits it sharply, and that ball went into center field. Dick Green started after it. He was playing back on the grass, and he took one step and fell down. Actually, he would have had no chance to get the ball anyway, but he was sprawled out there around second base. That's kind of wet. In that area. So Pepitone comes up with his second base hit in this ball game. And that's number six for the Yankees. Both teams have six hits. Batter now is Cleet Boyer. Boyer had a three run homer last night. And in this ball game, he's over for two. Bounce to short, bounce to third. Ted Bosefield and John Wyatt have been warming up since last inning for the A's in the bullpen. John here delivers to Boyer, and he takes it in a strike one. And we have Hal Rennes and Bob Meyer warming up for the Yankees. Meyer has been working the last two innings for the Yankees down there. The one strike pitch to Boyer almost hit him inside. One and one. Inside. One and one. Here, 
Left-hander set. Check Pepitone, delivers to Boyer, and it's just outside. Two balls, one strike. With the exception of where the shadows form on the field from the stands, this ballpark is now bathed in sunlight. And we didn't see too much of it for the first two hours. Curveball, Boyer takes it inside, three and one. Well, let's see, a 3-1 count to Cleet Boyer. Al Downing is in the on-deck circle. Yankees trail, one to nothing. We're in the top of the seventh inning. With Renner up and throwing, and we may see a pinch hitter. Boyer fouls this one. No, he doesn't. A slow dribble to third. Base hit. That ball just rolled right down the third base side. Charles came in. He had no play on Boyer. Boyer beat it out for an infield spindle, and here comes Mickey Mantle out of the Yankee dugout. That's the seventh hit for the Yankees. Boyer with the infield spindle. On at first base, Joe Pepitone on at second, and here comes the miss. Mantle will be batting from the right side, and here comes Eddie Lopez. Strategy. Let's see how it goes. Now, it was just announced, Lopat going out to talk to young John O'Donoghue. O'Donoghue has given up seven hits. He has held the Yankees score up to this moment. Mantle standing on the right side of the plate. Of course, the Lopat switch. With Burfield, the left-hander, is that the, is what he wants to do? I mean, with Wyatt, the right-hander, and Mantle will just turn around and go to the other side. So Lopat gives him a pat on the back and says, "Go get him." Eddie Lopat going all the way with a young left-hander. Coming on as a pinch hitter. He's batting at 320. Four doubles, no triples, eight home runs, 21 RBIs. Pepitone at second, Boyle at first, two down. O'Donoghue set, delivers to Mickey. First pitch hit on the right center, base hit. Here comes Pepitone, he's going to score. Can hold the A's. 
Edwards, the leadoff batter for the A's here in the last half of the seventh inning. He'll be followed by Dick Green and Charlie Lau. Rennes making his 11th appearance on the year. The right-hander delivers to Edwards, who holds back at the last minute and is high for a ball. Rennes has a 2-1 and one record. He left just a week ago on May the 24th. Edwards takes a strike right in there. One and one. Last year, Rennes was four and three. It was credited with many saves that helped the Yankees to win the American League flag. But right here today, it's two to one. The Yankees leading as Rennes goes into the windup. Delivers to Edwards. Hits a high fly ball to left field. Lopez going back, getting under it. And he takes it. Edwards, who had fouled the third and popped the short, now flies out to left field. He's over for three in the afternoon. One away, and here's the batter, Dick Green, who singled the roof and popped the short. Batting at 
Mark at seven doubles, one triple, two home runs, eight RBIs. Now the payoff set is inside. Well, one of us got lost. That's Bob Blue. Loud in one of these. the first time I have seen a player directed to first base. Okay, Lyle draws the base on balls. And here comes big Jim Gentile, who's been out of the Kansas uh, uh, City lineup for a few days with a full hamstring muscle. in as a runner for Charlie Lau. Jim Gentile making his first appearance in a, just about a week. Coming on to pinch hit for O'Donoghue. Lopat getting some speed on the bases. Gentile, 275 batter. He has four doubles, nine home runs, 22 RBIs. Side ball, pass move for first base. Renner, check tower, set. Deliver to Gentile, take high, ball one. Now taking a little time on the mound. Yankees leading two to one. We're in the last of the seventh inning. Ten feel the batter. The pitch. Inside, two balls, no strike. Jen Field cannot run at all. I was talking to him before the game, and he said that he really can't run, although he can bat. So in a two-out situation like this, where there's no chance of hitting into a double play or something of that nature, all he has to do is swing and then walk toward the dugout in the event that the play is the first base. That way he won't re-injure the leg that has been bothering him. Now try to ball a big lead at first. Pitch to Gentile, takes it on a half swing. Ball three, no strike. Power turned around to ask Al Perino, how about it? Now Gentile checking with Jimmy Dyke, the third base coach for the A's. Luke Appling down at first, yelling instructions to Cardiff. Now we're all set to go. Left, gets the side from Howard. Cardable leading off. The 3 0 6 to Gentile. A tie ball for any Walker. So the A's certainly have runners at first and second after two are out. Gentile goes to first. And we're going to have a pinch runner for Jim. Eddie Lopat motioning out to the Kansas City boot then. And then changing his mind. Looks like he'll get somebody off the bench here. Looks like Mo Drabowski. Who pitched last night's ball game? So Drabowski will run for Gentile. Okay, the A's are on. Carter Bullock second. Drabowski at first. The batter Wayne Causey has run up, delivers high, ball one. And Pete Mickelson is up in the anti bullpen drawing. Bob Meyer has been down there, but I think he's just working out. Al Rennes getting the first two batters has now run himself into trouble after walking Charlie Lau and Jim Gentile. Startable replaced Lau on the bases, as did without to replace Gentile. Rennes set, delivers, foul, right back by Wayne Carter. 1-1 one, one the count. Yankees leading 2-1. to one. This ball game delayed 46 minutes at the outset by rain, and then after playing 15 minutes, delayed another 57 minutes. But after the second delay, we have had some good weather here. The sun broke through about an hour ago, and it has been very pleasant ever since. Okay, Rennes. Six runners. Six delivers. There's a foul going down the left field side. Count one and two. To cause it. One ball, two strikes. The Yankees head off 
for Minnesota directly after this ball game. They play a four-game set in the Twin Cities. Three night games, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, afternoon game on Thursday. Time for those games. Airtime on radio, 8.55 for the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night game. And then 2.25 for Thursday's game. Then on to Los Angeles, where they play a weekend set with the Los Angeles Angels. They'll be off on Monday. Then they go to Boston, where they play four games in three days, and then back to Yankee Stadium for that big five-game set with the front running Chicago White Sox. Friday night doubleheader, Saturday afternoon ladies' day, and a Sunday doubleheader on June the 12th, 13th, and 14th. Here's Renup delivering to Cosby as a half swing foul straight back, and the count remains at one and two. Cosby is a tough batter. He's one for three on the afternoon, single to center in the first inning, and bounced to second and fouled to third. Batting at 283. Left hand batter tilts up slightly on the bat. Straight away stand, slightly crossed. Has the sign. The runners lead off at first and second. The pitch to Cosby is a long fly ball to right field. Right and going back at the Now it is. And it's going over. Four away from
Ron Wyatt has come on and relief of John O'Donoghue. Now Wyatt has a 
time from Bill Bryan. He checked again. Bobby leading off. The pitch catcher is fouled, and that ball went right off the shin pad of Bryan. Back behind the plate. Hmm. Oh, hurt. One and two. Lopez hanging in there. That's good. Go down in right field, throwing slowly. He's been up almost two and a half to three innings down there, so it isn't a matter of getting warm, it's just a matter of staying loose. Now Wyatt ready again. Set. The pitch to Hector, a curveball pops into short left field. Causey calling for it, going back. Tidable coming in, and Causey faced it, and Tidable. Looks like he was going to run over Cosby and then stop at the last minute. So Hector is out of there, one away. And the batter is Roger Maris, who's over three this afternoon. Bounce the second, pops the second, and bounce the first. Yeah. Al Downing, who started for the Yankees, is out of the ball game. He can either win or lose it. Al Renner, who came on in relief, is on the hook right now. Game currently belongs to young John O'Donoghue, should the A's manage to hold on. First pitch to Roger, almost hits him way inside, ball one. So we have had a lot of just misses here in the last few days. Boyer almost had his head spun around the other day. With the side. Bobby leading off. And now it's the batter. The one ball pitch. On the way is low. Ball two. 2-0. Two balls, no strike. the ballpark. Yeah, really rabid fans there. When they come, they come to watch the game. The two-ball pitch to Roger is high, three and oh. Bill Maris works the count, the three balls, no strikes. In the on-deck circle is Tom Tress. again. 3-0 delivery to Maris is in there. Back one. The lights in the outfield standards have been turned off, although those that cover the infield are still on here at Municipal Stadium in Kansas City. It was very dark earlier in the game when we had so much rain and low-hanging clouds. Now Wyatt pitches to Roger, swings and misses, strike two. A fastball, Roger swung over. Full count now, Bobby at first with one out. John Wyatt, the A's eighth right-hand relief pitcher, set. The pitch to Maris is drilled down right field side foul. That ball well hit, hook foul. That would have been a home run had it been fair. Line drive, way down the right field side, about 30 feet foul. But far enough to hit the Kansas City's one half ten and court. at first. We've got a full count to Maris. Wyatt with the sign. Set the pitch to Roger. High ball four and he walks it. So Wyatt gives up a base on ball to Maris. Maris trots down to first. Richardson goes to second. The Yankees have the tying run gone and the batter is Tom Stretch and here comes Eddie Lopez. One away here. Lopak going out to talk to Wyatt. Let's see whether or not he brings in both field or just has something to say to the right-hander. I'd like to remind you that tickets are available right now at all Yankee and Mets ticket offices for the annual Mayor's Trophy game between the Yankees and the Mets at Bay Stadium. 
Monday night, June the 15th. Just a reminder, too, that all proceeds from this game will go to the benefit of the youngsters playing sandlot baseball in the metropolitan area. And I know that you'll want to be on hand and help all these kids. And don't forget that the Yankees and the Mets at Jay Stadium, Monday night, June the 15th, 8 p.m. Wyatt will stay in the ball game, and he'll pitch to Tom Tresh. Ed Lopez. Ed Lopez the Yankee manager. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> Who used to pitch for the Yankees and is now the Kansas City manager goes back to the dugout. Okay, let's just get a second. Maris at first. Stretch the batter. One away. Wyatt. Stretch. Delivers to Tom. And he takes it low. Ball one. Wyatt looks like he's got good stuff out there, but he is just missing those corners. Okay, the A's. Looking for the double play. Stretch the batter. One ball to count as Wyatt delivers. Low. Two balls, no strike. Two and over the count. We're in the top of the eighth inning. A's leading the Yankees four to two. The Yankees with runners at first and second. Richardson at second, Maris at first. Wyatt ready once again. Set, try and set, delivers, foul, wow, down the left field side, and that ball is just over the Yankee bullpen down there. We have a lot of bars and obstruction while we're doing the game, particularly down the left field side. It's really hard to see sometimes, we have to stick our head out and around to see just where that ball's going. It's got a long neck, but it isn't that long. Okay, two and one to count to Tom. Wyatt delivers. Stretch, push, stretch, two. Right in there. Two, two to count. The Yankees are threatening here in the top of the eighth. Runners at first and second. Stretch for the two, two count. Elton Howard in the on-deck circle. Tommy has a fly to center, fly to left, and fly to right. He's over three so far. As Wyatt sets, delivers. A big hit. No! Well, you don't see that very often. Saladito 
the cleanup man for the A's, laying down or attempting to lay down a sacrifice run. Colavito in this series has five for ten, one home run and four RBIs. So manager Eddie Lopez calling on his cleanup batter to lay down a run. Now Colavito sets Jimmy Dykes to third. Once again, to see what's going right now. Brown and Bryant is leading off the first base. Nobody out. Ran up set. The 1-1 one, one pitch is inside. Two balls, one strike to Rocky. Now he's got a few more signs. Green flash between manager Lopez, Jimmy Dykes, and Rocky Calavito. Two on the count. Boy are playing deep. He's now looking for a bunch. And Rocky lays it down, right back to Rana. He's up with it, starts to go to second, Ted, and puts the first. So Bill Bryan moves on to second base. Calavite, Calavito makes the sacrifice good. That play went from one to four. Now the batter is Ed Charles. Charles struck out and bounced the short twice. He's over three. Four to two ball game. The A's are leading. We're in the last half of the eighth inning. The rubber game of the three-game set up for grabs as Charles takes high and inside, ball one. The A's won the first game, four to one. The Yankees won behind Whitey Ford last night, nine to one. And in this final game, the A's lead four to two in the last of the eighth. One ball count to Charles. Bryan on a second. Rennes sets, delivers, strike. One and one. Nicholson is warming up in the Yankee bullpen. Ran up ready once more. Sets Brian at second. Delivers to Styles. It swings and misses. Right two. One and two. Styles has been in a horrible slump for the last ten ball games. for three in this game. He's hitting around 230. Last two years, he's been one of the solid hitters for the A's. One ball, two strikes. Ed Charles, the right-hand batter, as Renner delivers. There's a high fly ball to the straightaway center. Brian, halfway, press gets under, takes it, and there's two down. back to second base. Two out, and the batter will be the first baseman, Doc Edwards. Edwards fouled the third, top the short, and fly the left. Yankees, two runs on eight hits. Yankees, two runs on nine hits. Thanks to the high road. Go with Atlantic. 
was on the inside, and fact, probably not a strike as Boyer had that look of disgust as he pulled away from the plate. So the count holds at two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Pepitone with the lead at first. Doc Edwards playing behind Joe at first. Boyer at the plate. Wyatt sets the fifth curveball outside. A full count. Boyer working the count to three and two. In the on deck circle, Johnny Blanchard will be coming on for Hal Renner. The big kid, one of the best players. Joe Wyatt records his first strikeout since coming on in the eighth inning in relief of John O'Donoghue. Now the batter is Johnny Blanchard. Blanchard batting at 226. Has seven hits and 31 at bats. Two doubles, one home run, four RBIs. Blanchard has been used sparingly here in the first six weeks of the season. Blanchard, power hitting left hand hitter. Wyatt, in relief, set the pitch is way high, ball one. Oh, way up there. Bill Pepitone is down at first base. The Yankees hit it back to the wall here in this third ball game at Kansas City. They trail four to two. There are two down. Now Wyatt set. Delivers. Blanchard drills one in the right field. Base it. Pepitone this time does not attempt to go any place except the second base. It was the other night on a similar play that he got held up between second and third and was eventually tagged out. This time he just walked to second base and stopped. Okay, the Yankees now with runners at first and second. Tony Kubek the batter. Donald Blanchard coming through with a pinch hit single down the right field side. And Phil Lynch goes in as a base runner for Blanchard. So, Yogi wants some speed on the bases. Lynch representing a tying run on at first base. Pepitone at second. Kubek the batter. Tony is one for four this afternoon. The pitch by Wyatt is a pass strike one to Tony Kubek. Right on the outside corner. The Yankees have 11 hits. The A's have eight. But one of those hits by the A's was a three-run shot, a three-run shot, rather, by Wayne Causey, the shortstop. and Hal Renner for pitches of record at this moment. Lynch with a big lead at first. Pepin going off the second. The pitch to two back here. High ball one. One and one to count. Bobby Richardson in the on deck circle. Boy, we're going right down to the wire today. And two bet. Says let's take a look at the ball. Al Soleno, the plate umpire, does and then flips it back to John Wyatt. Though, on each ball club, there are a few pitchers that are accused of uh, doing things they shouldn't do. And the players at the plate always trying to protect themselves in such situations. Now Wyatt, the 1-1 one, one pitch to Kubek, popped in the air and out of play. One and two to count. Strikes on Kubek. There's two down. Lynn's in the first base. Pepitone at second. Kansas City leading the Yankees four to two, and we're in the top of the ninth inning. Now John Wyatt, the right-hander, in relief of O'Donoghue. Set, delivers. Kubek hits this one high in the air, coming back behind the plate, and that ball is coming up on the roof here and out of play. Ryan, who came back after the ball, got about 15 feet. 
behind the plate and then hit it and almost fell down on the soft turf. This ball game, for those of you who may have tuned in late, was delayed twice at the opening for 46 minutes and then later for 57 minutes. Down is one and two to two bets. Now wide pretty again. The pitch to Tony is a quick big foul off to the left. And again, it's one and two. Tony has only been up 67 times. Had a lot of trouble with that uh, cold rib cage muscle on his left side. He's been back in the lineup in this series and seems to be drawing steadily stronger each day. Now Wyatt's ready. The one two pitch again to two bets. Hits the left field down the line. Side of all digging and he can't get it if it goes foul. Foul right down the line. And the chances are it would have been a home run. Although at this moment we're not quite certain as the angle is not good enough for us to really tell. Lynn, as the ball landed, was almost at third base. Well, he is getting a big jump. Now here's the situation. It's tough because the left hand batter at the plate forces Edwards back off of first, Lynn taking a huge lead and a long single with a man of Lynn's speed could score. So we're ready once again. That's why it's set. The one two pitch to Tony is outside. Two two to count. Two balls, two strikes, two down, two men on. A's leading, four to two. More the two two six to Kubat just hit high and away to short left field. Try to bullet, try to get under this one and fair territory right at the line of the two six. That ball game is over. Today's winner is four to two. I'll be back in one.